Welcome to the Two Way Street Coffee House Virtual Farm Showcases. Thank you for coming tonight. We have a stellar lineup for you this evening. Uh, thank you to Farm and Annie Katz, especially for putting this on, this great event that we all get to participate in. Uh, you don't want to miss the Indie Folk Series at 10.30 p.m., so be sure to tune in for that. On Friday at 2 p.m., Farm is hosting the Wisdom of the Elders, and Saturday 2 p.m., the keynote address by John McCutcheon will be happening, so you don't want to miss that. Be sure to tune in uh, to the Farm social media sites as well as their website for more information. And thanks for tuning into the 2A Street. We have a Friday night concert series. This, two, this coffee house has been putting on concerts for 50 years. In fact, this t-shirt is one that my dad wore as a performer at the 20th celebration 30 years ago. So, speaking of the anniversary, we're starting to celebrate in November with some special events where we're remarking every decade, starting at 2010, going back to the 1970s, and actually featuring artists that were on our stage during those times. So, it's going to be a great month. Look forward to that. Please tune into our social media and uh, be sure to check that out. Okay, so the lineup tonight is Kim Moberg, Michael and Nell, Jenny and Robin Benneman, Ruth and Max Bloomquist, and Rupert Waits. So it is a fantastic lineup for you this evening. We're going to start with Kim. Kim was born in Juneau, Alaska, and music was a constant in her childhood. She was a, uh, from a military family, so they were frequent moves, and music helped her get through it. Stage fright kept her from pursuing her dream until 2004 when she decided she'd had enough, she was going to overcome her fears. She wrote her first song, uh, which led to then her debut CD entitled Above Ground, uh, which celebrates this achievement of her goal to bring music out of the basement. So it was produced by Grammy-nominated producer John Evans and was released in September of 2017. She then teamed up with John Evans again to record her sophomore album, Up Around the Bend. She's a Connecticut Folk Grassy Hill Songwriting Competition winner 2020. Uh, you should check out her music on www.kimmobergmusic.com. Thank you so much for being here, Kim. Take it away. Ancient land, a for time. An infant child is rescued from the night. As a man, he fought for a right. Kill the Pharaoh's guard to save a life. Your angry skies, a holy voice did summon him at the top of the mount. Zion. Forty days and forty nights of laws have been described On tablets to the sacred rules to spare us from the ire Into exile they took flight A burning bush that beckoned in the night Promised to land within their sight. The prophet led his flock to where he died. With your angry skies, a holy voice did summon him at the top of the mount. Zion, forty days and forty nights of love. Tablets to the sacred rules to spare us from the eye, brimstone, and fire. Here I 
understand Through sands of time Eighty generations passed in line Ten commands still defy Fate lies in the hands of yours and mine The angry skies a holy voice Did summon him at the top of the mountain I and I Forty days and forty nights of laws of man he scrapped On tablets to the sacred rules to spare us from the eye brimstone fire Summon him at the top of the mount Zion Forty days and forty nights of laws Men he scratched On tablets to the sacred rules To spare us from the ire Of bare stone and fire Brimstone and fire All right, thank you very much. That's a that's a brand new song. Hasn't been recorded yet. Hopefully that's going to happen real soon. About 3 years ago, I sadly lost my younger sister Kelly to uh, breast cancer. And when we got the word that her passing was imminent, I hopped a bus from where I live in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, to where she was in northern New Jersey hoping to make it in time to say goodbye. I did not make it in time to say goodbye. And this song is about that bus ride. It's called Angels Fly. Thank you again, Two Way Street Coffee House. Seat by the window, southbound on I 95. Praying the driver will get me to you in time. The whole ride, my mind's eye is seeing your life flashing by.
by the window Northbound on I-95 The ring on my finger Proof that you walked in this life And now that it's over I can't even whisper goodbye Angels fly More than a sister, a daughter, a partner So much more than a friend And though I was older, you were the wiser Cause you knew that in the end Angels fly Angels fly, angels fly. Fly, angel, fly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. So Kim, very nice. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for sharing your music. Uh, Kim Thank and I you. had a chance to meet on a online um, songwriters group, and this was our first time of meeting. And we hope to bring her to the Two Way Street, of course, sometime. But yeah. um, so she would be new to our stage, and um, and I knew I like from watching your videos and all, listening to your music that. You're just fantastic. So I'm so glad that we got you on our show. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm just so honored to be here. Thank you. Absolutely. Beautiful fantastic. music. So next up, we have Michael and Nell. That's uh, Michael Austin and Nell Levin. They've also um, performed as the Shelby Bottom String Band and um, have been also running a show called the Joe Hill Road Show. You definitely want to check that out. Uh, I believe it's, a, it's something that even the state of Tennessee Arts Council funded or isn't, isn't that right Michael and now yeah well the last grant we got actually was from humanities Tennessee we just did a five uh, virtual performances of it with a cares grant that we just got and yeah. we're also perform we also have money from the Tennessee Arts Commission and uh, Metro Nashville Arts and the Puffin Foundation we've we've done the show 27 times live and then we just switched to virtual at the end of at the end of uh, May yeah, so, so. And that was an interesting situation because uh, Nell went on and, and, and grabbed the grant like on the last day and they came back and approved it and gave us 90 days to do five shows online from, Which was from, crazy. from, from scratch, <laughs> booking the shows, booking, setting up the equipment, the whole, the whole nine yards. It's so, been crazy. So we did. Another act that's new to our stage and they're coming out to us from Nashville and we're so excited to have you. Um, it, but honestly, when I look at the Joe Hill show, I'm looking at you being some of the first to get out there and do the virtual shows. So way to lead us in there. And um, yeah, yeah, we kind of got thrown into it because we had the grant and we had uh, from the Arts Commission and we couldn't do it in the theater, the theater that we were going to do it in said no. And then we had to switch to virtual. And, you know, <laughs> it's just been crazy. <laughs> Yeah, and we get got, a lot of equipment, new equipment, learn how to yeah. use it. And... We got tossed into the deep end of the pool for that one. <laughs> right. You're yeah. here with us now. So, yes. ladies and gentlemen, uh, Michael and Nell. <laughs> all right, well, thank you, Joel, and thank you all for being, having us here, uh, Two Way Street. Uh, we're going to play several songs from our new album, Welcome Home. And uh, the first song is called Boss Call the Meeting, and it's, and it's a song that Nell started writing after she read a time magazine article about what happened to the uh, the people at the carrier plant in Indiana, indianapolis a few years ago and uh, basically a, an unnamed politician and the plant manager uh, tried to convince these people that they were not going to lose their jobs and uh, this is what happened Mexico. We all heard 
remember rumors. Now we know they're moving the plant to Mexico. All I've ever known is the blue collar life. This union job fed my kids and my wife. I gave up my muscle, gave up my brain. Now I'm locked to the ground by this one away train. country and of course you guys will probably remember him because he wrote a book called Walden it was about Walden Pond and this is song is called light in the forest and an interesting uh, uh, footnote on that Nell wrote this song with a man named Rick Swagoda, Rick Swagoda who happened to be a retired New York City police, police officer, officer who came to Nashville <laughs> to write songs so here we go with light in the forest Start that again. Go ahead. That was that that was sloppy. <laughs> Take ahead. two. Search the woods for a simpler way. Pine for a fire, and berries for supper, and truth for the pages you wrote every day. You gave the world a light in the forest, simple reflections on wall and palm. You gave the world. A light in the forest, destined to shine on the world beyond. Your hut by the ponds now, a pile of rubble, where pilgrims contribute one stone at a time. For two years you lived there, alone in the forest, you made it your home. 
We've made it a shrine. You gave the world a light in the forest. Simple reflections on wall and palm. You gave the world a light in the forest. Destined to shine on the world beyond. You died believing your life was a failure. Verses and journals all written in vain. But a hundred years later, your light is still shining. And millions of people are touched by your flame. You wrote the book about simplified living, respecting nature, protesting war. You wrote the book about passive resistance, and Gandhi would quote while he sat on the floor. On wall and pond, you gave the world a light in the forest, destined to shine on the world Tell this is going to be a serious song because Michael's getting the kazoo out. So we here always, it comes. Here it comes. So this song actually was number three on the folk DJ chart in August, mm -hmm. and it is an old song by Steve Goodman, and it's called Election Year Rag. And we have a really fun video uh, of this song up on YouTube, Election Year Rag 2020. So check it out. Mm -hmm. And this is our version. Well, that reminds me. Yes, that's my name, Michael August. <laughs> They all said Michael Austin, August. Okay, one, two. Whoops, let me get this thing situated here. Michael uses a, a, harmonic, so, a harmonica rack for his kazoo. Uh, yeah. pretty, pretty ingenious, huh? Kazoo is a very precise instrument. You have to have it in exactly the right spot or else. Here we go, one, two. I want to do three, four. Oh, time out. Forgot to adjust my volume. There we go. Okay. Two, three, four. <laughs> Won't you take a chance? Your papa's gonna show you a brand new dance. Shovel on down, no, don't you be no drag. Do that election year rag. Take two steps to the left and two steps to the right. Then you stand in the middle and you hang on tight. Come on down now, don't feel mad. Do that election year rag. Jump on that old bandwagon, here's what we're gonna do. Go down to the precinct captain's house this morning. Scarf up some lame ducks too. Don't you cry, don't shed no tears. You know it only comes around every four years. I'm your dark horse and you're my knight. Do that election year round.
Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Uh, thank you for having us. That thank you. Great. We really do appreciate it. We consider it an honor to be on stage with all these fine people. Well, we are excited to have you. Fantastic. Um, I think I need to learn how to play the kazoo a little better. Definitely. Um, yeah. For sure. So thank you so much. Uh, we're going to move on to our next act. Uh, we're, we like these people. They're, they're two of our favorites. They're good people. Jenny and Robin Benneman. Uh, they're a husband and wife duo, uh, both singer-songwriters and uh, multi-instrumentalists. Um, yeah. Poets and, and poets writers. and writers Just and lovely, the nicest people I ever meet. They're and super smart and like they're the just... whole <laughs> package. If there was a package, it's they're true. all the package. Yeah, I can't so... quite hear you. Could you speak a little louder? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, they're fantastic. So if you get a chance, check um, check them out on their website. Yes, and... JennyBenneman.com, um, and you can find more information there. So take it away. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Two Way Street, you are an icon. You live in our hearts. That you are under such wonderful management with Joel and with Jennifer is just thank you. Thank you. And how about Annie Caps making a way for all of us to make music in the time of the pandemic? Thank you so much. So thank you to our hosts. Thank you, Farm. Of course, a performer is nothing without an audience. The audience brings the show. So thank you for being here. Without further ado, here's this guy. <laughs> Hi. Hi, you guys. <laughs> um, so uh, thanks for, for uh, uh, to uh, Michael and Nell for doing a good topical song that sits into this period. I woke up this morning and realized that uh, one of my songs had become topical suddenly when Pope Francis sort of uh, publicly advocating for civil unions. And since Jenny and I are very happily involved in a civil union situation. We're civil. Yeah, <laughs> civil and uncivilized <laughs> occasionally. This is, a, this is a song about that, celebrating those civil unions. When a man loves a man, well, there ain't no shame. It's pretty much like when a guy loves a dame, except the parties involved have the same equipment. Well, aside from that, it's not very different. In fact, it's almost exactly the same, and it's a good thing. More love in the world is a good thing. The more you bring, the more we get to sing about it. Who's to say who shouldn't and should? More love in the world is good. And when a lady loves a lady, well, that's totally fine. You see, sex can be flexible by design. And it's a beautiful thing when adults come together romantically. And it don't matter whether they're of the same gender, if they're of the same mind. It's a good thing. More love in the world is a good thing. The more you bring, the more we get to sing about it. Who's to say who shouldn't and should? More love in the world is good. When a man sees a man, I can't help but imagine him stripped to his blue jeans, bare chest and abdomen. Or oh, when a woman fancies a pretty girl, the nape of her neck so perfectly vertical, her hips so round, she can imagine her hands on them a good thing. More love in the world is a good thing. The more you bring, the more we get to sing about it. Who's to say who shouldn't and should? More love in the world is good. More love in the world is love in the world is love in the world is good. More love in the world is love in the world is love in the world is good. More love in the world is love in the world is love in the world is good. More love in the world is love in the world is love in the world is good. We should spend our lives in passion and romance. We mustn't squander these passing moments. Let's welcome these couples into family life. You know, husband with husband and wife with wife. In sickness and health and with shared insurance. It's a good thing. More love in the world is a good thing. The more you bring, the more we get to sing about it. Who's to say who shouldn't and should? More love in the world is good. And before you say gays have gone too far, well, consider how messed up some heteros are. Where they get dressed up like boys and girls and they shoot at each other with poison arrows from opposite sides of the family car. And it's a good thing. More love in the world is a good thing. 
the more you bring, the more we get to sing about it. Who's to say who shouldn't and should? More love in the world is good. Well, you might not be used to a dude with another dude, but it's cool if they're in love with each other. Well, who's to judge if their love rings true? If they happen to be among the fortunate few whose affections can make each other's hearts flutter, it's a good thing. More love in the world is a good thing. The more you bring, the more we get to sing about it. Who's to say who shouldn't and should? More love in the world is good. More love in the world is love, and the world is love, and the world is good. More love in the world is love, and the world is love, and the world is good. More love in the world is love, and the world is love, and the world is good. More love in the world is love, and the world is love, and the world is good. All right, so we. Uh, voting day is coming up. Yeah, we recommend re-electing uh, Pope Francis. That's where we stand. We're going to stick our necks out on that one in the folk community here. So this next song is about uh, being married as well. You know, when you live with someone, you have to find a place for their stuff. And that's what this song is about. glad to have a chance to be here with you guys and we cannot wait to hear the rest of the performers you know i didn't realize we were going to get choreography too that was I mean. beautiful <laughs> that was a wonderful experience um and also sign up for jenny's weekly haiku um yes. i believe that she's stalking me and like yes. following my life and like she's, writing them about my personal my life uh, because every time it comes it like applies to me i'm almost and, afraid to open it i'm like oh but it's what good. does Jenny know? She knows things <laughs> yes. about me, and she sends me emails about them. I'm so I happy. Them every week, and so, I enjoy them. Sunday morning, though, it's a joy every Sunday when I get it, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> so thank you so much. Yes, um, thank you. Okay, next up, we have Ruth and Max Bloomquist, who are phenomenal, phenomenal 
performers. They had been celebrating 40 years of performing their acoustic Americana music with roots in folk, bluegrass, and traditional country music. Um, Ruth is well known for her songwriting as well as her striking alto voice. Uh, the pair's 2010 CD release reached number five. That's called Turn Back a Page. They have a YouTube video featuring their amazing song, Michigan Girl, which has been viewed well over 360 times. It's my most favorite song of theirs, but I love all of them. Their last CD, I think, I'm not sure if you have a new one, but 2017, On a Canvas Painted Blue. So please be sure to check out ruthbloomquist.com to make sure that you have all of the information that you need regarding these fabulous artists. Welcome and take it away. Thank you so much. We are so happy to be here. I'm mighty glad to be here. This is Max, just in case you're confused. I'm Ruth. Um, this is Hamlet. Hamlet came to live with us because of this song. He showed up in the mailbox one day. Wish I had a million dollars And a brand new fancy ride Wish I had a stately mansion On a mountain high And you back by my side Wish that I walk on water change the colors of the sky wish the moon would do my bidding you know how much I cried if only pigs could fly I'm sorry that I the country quite a bit in the 40 some odd years we've been playing music together and we found that in the in the southern states in particular we were 
kind of involved in bluegrass for a while. And, and boy, I'll tell you, each of those southern states has a plethora of songs about them. There's, you know, songs about Alabama, songs about Georgia, songs even about Florida. I hadn't heard too many of them until I went down there. Don't get me started about Texas. And I thought, why, why is it that there aren't more songs about some of the northern states? I heard one about Minnesota one time. And I heard that we had a state song, but it took me a while to find it here in Michigan. So I got to thinking about it. And this is the one that I came up with. Well, it snowed last night in my hometown. All the schools have been shut down. streets all by themselves I remember times that happened to me how glad I was to be set free I wish that I could feel that way right now maybe it's something in the water maybe something in the air Maybe the leaves in the autumn That keep me coming back here I'm a Michigan girl Raised in the shade of the white pine I walk the train the porcupine and I'm proud to call this home mine Well I heard they closed the bridge last week the wind was high where the water's deep on both sides I remember when we rode Big Mac afraid we'd fall between the cracks I can't wait to take that northern ride again Maybe it's something in the water Maybe it's something Oh, 
has been doing such a great job of keeping the community together. Um, my hat's off to you. You guys are fantastic. Now you can all see if you haven't known them before, just why Ruth and Max are a two-way street coffee house favorite. So we love when they come to visit, up, visit us and we hope to have them back again soon. So thank you guys, you're fantastic. And the farm would not be complete without hearing that, particularly in Michigan Girl. I mean, Absolutely. Uh, the other thing, too, about that is they were of the first people that I know of that were doing virtual shows. So I, I liken Ruth and Max to being like the independent people who had the mindset of saying, you know what, we're going to carve out our own way. And before there were any virtual tech sessions from any uh, in regional yeah. folk groups or any of that. They yeah. went out there and they figured it out themselves already, first. Already so adapted kudos before to you. we even understood what was going on. So yeah, great job. So next up, we're so excited to have Rupert. Rupert Waits. He was born in London and he studied in Oxford University. He's been a full-time songwriter since the 1990s. He came to the U.S. in 2006. He's now based in New York and Colorado, alternatively, depending on which one treats him nicely. <laughs> and um, since coming to the U.S., he's won more than 40 songwriting and performing awards. Um, his music is an eclectic mix of acoustic, melodic art folk with flavors of jazz, vaudeville, and cabaret. Um, he has released nine CDs so far, um, which have all received, you know, the review, raving reviews internationally online in the press. And um, the tracks have been played all over the radio, everywhere. Uh, we and now here. Well, we got to run into him at sorry to say it, Nerfa last year. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Farm. I know we're the best, but um, we we went to Nerfa and we saw Rupert. He was an official showcase artist there last year. So that's actually where we first saw him. Aside from the fact that he played at the Two Way Street last December. So thank you, Rupert. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Take Thanks, guys. Lovely to be here. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Here's a little love song. Um, this is called "I'm Amazed." I'm amazed by the love, amazed by the love. I don't need the mountains, and I don't need the trees. I don't need the splendor of the sun that shines on me. Well, I don't need the treasures I buried out at sea. I don't need the mighty temples of antiquity I've traveled far And all that I've seen left me cold Twisted and scarred Nothing could move in my soul But I'm amazed by your love When I gaze in your eyes I hope it stays with me now And all the days of my life Dreams claw at me in the night They whisper of tragedy Not yet come to light We must hold on to these precious times 
when I'm here by your side and you are by mine. And out on the road, I throw you up far from me. Everywhere I go, wonder is all that I see. Better than the mountains, a better than the trees, a better than the splendor of the sun that shines on me, a better than the treasures I buried out at sea, better than the lovely gardens of antiquity. I'm amazed by your love when I gave. stays with me now and all the days of my life yes, I'm amazed by your love when I gaze in your eyes I hope it stays with me now and all the days of my life title song of my new CD, which I recorded in June in New York City, middle of the pandemic, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is called Lamentations, Lamentations. Once I was lovely. Once I was young, once I rejoiced in the light of the sun. Once the pure waters flowed straight to my well, now I sing lamentations to heaven and hell. The keys of the kingdom were thrown at my feet. The table was laden with all I could eat. Now I beg them to feed me through the bars of a cell, and I sing lamentations to heaven and hell.
song based on a true story concerns a poor family who made their way across America on foot during the days of the Dust Bowl. Uh, this is based on a true story and it's my kind of hymn of thanks to the women of America for keeping the show on the road. I'd like to dedicate this to Kamala Harris for obvious reasons. So this is called Days of Mercy. My song based on a true story, this is called Days of Mercy. Daddy lost his job one day, couldn't find another place. One that paid him less, one that paid him less. So he settled into his easy chair, with his dog eared magazines, until the bank took back our house. My mama only screamed when she was a little girl. She had a dream, she found a pearl hidden in the pocket of her pants. But the pants were full of holes. When she woke, the pearl was gone, and she was only six years old. Hold on tight, my mama said, I keep your eyes upon the sun. Faith in the road ahead, the days of mercy will surely come. When the world is blown apart, in the eye of a hurricane, let strength and courage fill your hearts. Days of mercy will come again. So we sold up all we owned, we headed east in a touring car We found a place with a plot of land, down in Windy Arkansas And he worked on a leader's farm, but my mama heard it said He didn't work that fit his fields, as much as he worked her bed So she packed a cardboard case, with a single change of clothes I took the baby on her hip, I told us all to follow close we began the long walk home to the California coast. Hold on time, my mama said, and keep your eyes upon the sun. Faith in the road ahead, the days of mercy will surely come. When the world is blown apart, in the eye of a hurricane, let strength and courage fill your hearts. Days of mercy will come again. Mama led me to a stream, I dipped a cloth to bathe my head. Walked all through New Mexico, and in a migrant worker's camp, I learned all there was to know about the kindness of the poor. And though the children dressed in rags, they gave us everything they had. Bites of sweets with ready smiles, fresh tortilla around the fire. In the huts of rusty iron, when the baby started crying, hold on tight, my mama said, I keep your eyes upon the sun. Faith in the road ahead, the days of mercy will surely come. When the world is blown apart, in the eye of a hurricane, let strength and courage fill your hearts. Days of mercy will come again. So we finally reached LA, beside a lake in Lincoln Park. A man was standing all alone. Throwing crumbs to feed the ducks. When are you gonna take those children home? Asked the man and my mother said, We just walked 2,000 miles, we'll make it yet with a little luck. And then the man just looked away, he said he guessed his turn had come. He pulled out two dollar bills, enough to see us right. For a can of pork and beans and some shelter for the night. Hold on tight, my mama said, and keep your eyes upon the sun. Faith in the road ahead, the days of mercy will surely come. When the world is blown apart, in the eye of a hurricane, let strength and courage fill your hearts. Days of mercy will come again. All on time, my mama said, I keep your eyes upon the sun. Faith in the road ahead, the days of mercy will surely come. When the world is blown apart, in the eye of a hurricane, let strength and courage fill your hearts. Days of mercy will come again. All on top, my mama said, keep your eyes upon the sun. Put your faith in the road ahead. Days of mercy will surely come. When the world is blown apart, in the eye of a hurricane, let strength and courage fill your hearts. Days of mercy will come again.
Thanks, everybody. Well, it's two race, two post, and stuff. Thank you. How fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. It's what a, a terrific lineup. So, again, we are doing the Farm Private Showcase Virtual Edition. We made it through. Don't forget to check out the Indie Showcase after us. It, it should start in just about 30 minutes. Um, we are the two-way street, so if you want to come see us, we're, we've been around putting on weekly shows for 50 years. In fact, this shirt came from my dad who wore it on the, to the 20th anniversary celebration 30 years ago, and he was a performer back then. So we're excited about our 50th anniversary. Please come and check that out. It's going to start in November. But other than that, we have com uh, community virtual events. So come to our sing-arounds or bring your own song event, or uh, we have a country western one coming up on this Saturday. Oh, so uh, it's going to be fantastic. And I don't miss a whole verse out. Thank you for supporting so, us. Yes, and thank you so much to Farm. And again, oh, Annie nice Cats, um, as a venue, has been providing music for over 50 years. And also the two of us are artists. That's pretty sure. Just cannot thank the farm community enough for providing such a great community for us all to. Uh, we miss coming to the conference so much, so it's nice to be able to come and celebrate and be together virtually sharing music. So we appreciate Farm and Annie for all the hard work that they have done. Um, and our and, virtual tech, Tim Kendall. Yes, and Tim Kendall. Oh my gosh, Tonight. he's the man behind the curtain making it all happen. So be sure to uh, go over to check out the Indie Folk Series. Thank you to Kim Mober, Michael and Nell, Jenny and Robin Benneman, Ruth and Max Bloomquist, and of course, Rupert Waits. Thank you so much. Have a good evening. Thank you.